So there were also Egyptians and other people who went with the children of Israel. This is a picture of, uh, of our salvation. Amen. So you see, you see the key there when you look at the Passover story. All right. So the difference here is these locusts. So they, those locusts in Egypt ate up all the grain and harvest and all this kind of stuff. Here, they're not doing that. In fact, they're told not to harm the grass in verse 4. Uh, so they, the ones in the Exodus were limited to eating up the remaining foliage in the land of Egypt, but here they're told not to do that, but to harm the people. So this is different. There's something else going on. And only the people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads, it says. We talked about that you know, a couple of weeks ago in chapter 7, that there was, there's God sealed certain people uh, with his seal. And what that meant to ancient Jewish thinking was literally the, the name of Hashem, the name of God, the four letters of his name were sealed onto their forehead, just like the, the Kohen Hagadol, the high priest, had it on his uh, thing there, you know, his uh, crown that he had. But it would be spiritually sealed onto the people of God. And it's like saying, you cannot touch them. They belong to me. And so we see this here, that when this plague happens, God says from heaven, now this is interesting, he allows these things to happen. It's, it's hard for us to understand. This is an evil angel coming down, opening up this pit. These things come out. It's horrible. God has allowed it. God has decreed it. God, it said a voice, you know, later we'll see, a voice comes from the altar later on saying, open this now, and it even gets worse. But the point is, God is not only allowing it, God is decreeing this to happen. And it becomes this horrible, if you will, plague on the earth. And it's used to do two things. And we need to keep this in mind, even in today's world, is not only that it is judging the ungodly on the earth, and ungodliness is being judged, and things are becoming, be, and I'm talking about right now, by the way, things are starting to become more clearly contrasted between what is good and evil, even though the world is calling evil good and good evil. But we as believers are starting to see what is behind some of the things that we've become comfortable with. And God is saying, no, you need to, you need to get ready, people, because these things are coming. God is going to deal with it. It's even starting now. And, you know, because God has judged always throughout history, uh, sin, and, and so on, and nations, and so on. And so there's judgment that's coming on the ungodliness of the earth. And unfortunately, it does include people who are unwilling to repent. We're going to see this. But it's also being used to refine God's people at the same time. Amen.